Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for new rulings from the board. <laughs> the board would like to welcome to the organization Fox anchor Shep Bird Smith. <laughs> Proving that the Rolling Stones were once again right when they said you can't always get what you want. Smith recently announced that he was gay in order to defend Roger Ailes by saying that Ailes always treated him with respect unlike all the other girls around the office. <laughs> that was the gist of it. He doesn't have that much of a sense of humor, but Laura Palmer's father never did. <laughs> Shepard Smith looks like Leland Palmer, Google it. It's just true. The board would like to thank longtime member and friend of the meeting, Randy Rainbow, for being the only ray of light in this dark, cavernous tunnel known as the 2016 presidential election. A parody sung to Irving Berlin about Trump's sexism is just, it's all that's keeping me alive at this moment in time. The board would like to encourage you, the membership, to contribute to the online campaign to help the Smithsonian repair Judy Garland's iconic slippers. The shoes are falling apart, and why wouldn't they be? They've been carrying all your dreams for 70 years. Just saying. <laughs> the board would like to squint and wonder what the hell is this really about at the release of the most recent James Franco movie, King Cobra. <laughs> what the hell is this really about? <laughs> what we know, we have not seen the film yet, to be fair. And we have no problem with the content. The film is set in the porn industry in the 90s and tells about the murder between competing studios and apparently has something to do with Brett Corrigan in the middle. And who doesn't love a Brett Corrigan? <laughs> but how is it that James Franco gets to make sexy gay movies and invited to the Today Show and we can't get a short film made? <laughs> just, just saying. Just saying. Now, don't send me all your short, terrible films to watch, either. <laughs> you mentioned that I just had this little ovra laying around. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. The board, would like to <laughs> the board would like to thank Cher for so much, for being a beacon of light, for showing us how a pop star can be frozen in time forever, <laughs> for making Twitter interesting again, for campaigning for Hillary in P-Town, but most recently, for announcing that she will be back on the road in 2017. Thank you, Cher. Thank you. The board would like to puppy face at the poor little munchkin and Simpsons villain Ted Cruz. Because apparently he's not getting enough attention. Poor little possum with alopecia Ted Cruz. Feels ignored, forlorn, so he tried to pull a Trump, since people seem to pay attention to that car wreck, and did a, a bit of a tweeting massacre the other night, and tweeted that after Hillary becomes president, sex changes will become mandatory. <laughs> what? I, I was sitting with trans friends at the time going, all of us? <laughs> and my friend was like, I certainly hope not. Jesus Christ, the rest of you are just annoying on your own. <laughs> just all of us? Gee, that, what a crazy mixed up world we'd live in. <laughs> but fun. <laughs> the board would like to congratulate Louisiana politician Mike Henney for making the weirdest apology slash campaign promise video of all time. For those of you who don't know, Mike Henney was an anti-gay Republican uh, state senator out of Louisiana who got caught <laughs> <laughs> texting a 17-year-old and sending him underwear. Now, we've all been there. 
That's why Andrew Christian does the gift wrap. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but in the video, he's like, so everybody, you've heard. <laughs> We're like, yeah, yeah, we have. And he's like, so I made a couple mistakes. I, well, your biggest mistake is getting caught. I mean, come on. But anyway, he's like, uh, but I promise I won't make them again, and I, I feel like we can move on past this. I mean, it's just, I, I sent some text to a 17-year-old and uh, made him photograph himself and send it to me over the phone. <laughs> and it's like, no, you don't. I don't understand how politicians can be so stupid about things we do every single day. Like, if I don't have a day where I send a dick pic to somebody, what the hell am I doing with my life? <laughs> But I don't get caught, and I don't take a picture next to my son. That one, Anthony Weiner, what a disappointment, really. As if the name weren't bad enough. <laughs> the board would like to snap twice to the skies, and thank God we're alive, at the news that there's a new cover girl in town, and his name is James Charles. <laughs> Cover Girl has a new cover boy. It's a first and she's fierce. Now James made the internet go crazy when he insisted that he reshoot his high school picture after he learned contouring better. <laughs> oh my. I believe the children are our future. Would you have the balls to do that? I'm sorry. I have to come back in three weeks. I need a tutorial because these cheekbones are killing us both. I love it. I love it. The board would like to remind you the membership that October is LGBT History Month. Okay. It's very, con can we just all get it together? October is LG, and then there's Pride in June, and then last week was Las Vegas Pride. What the fuck, it can we just all decide on a month and go with that? I don't want to get messages from the HRC being like, it's LGBT History Month, and I'm like, what does that mean to you people? <laughs> I don't care for them. <laughs> the board would like to pour one out to our lost roadmaps to sin, Next Magazine and Frontiers Magazine. The fag rags are shutting down, and we, the board, are mournful and scared for the future. How will you find services you need for our aching backs, our aching fronts, <laughs> our alopecia? our other skin diseases? How will we see our friends out with other people at gay bars and they never looked that nice in person? <laughs> How will we ever find out again what's happening with Michael Urey? <laughs> I just, I like to know. I like to know. Now we kid, of course, but the loss of these often overlooked catalogs of gay life as it happens have been important staples to the community and their loss is deep and real. We hope that in the future you'll support more gay publications and hope that another, another kind of staple of the community doesn't fall away.